Hi everyone, this is Pierre Rick from P2Design. Switching parents or dependency is very common in 3D animation. For example, when animating props like two-handed weapons, a rifle, a sword, whatever. But the problem is when switching parent or dependency, if you don't have a dedicated script or tool, your props will awkwardly move away and you will have to counter animate by hand to match the current or previous motion or position. And that is painful. Fortunately, the Blender devs got us covered. Before we start this tutorial though, I'd like to congratulate Southern Shoddy for his amazing Watermelon Girl short movie. It's a 5 years project he did on his own. And the result is incredible, so go watch it, but first watch my tutorial please. And then show him support by commenting, giving him a like, whatever you can to spread the word. Now let's get started. We will use this shot as an example, the animated props being this double-sided sword. So let's jump in Blender. In this shot, the salt comes from the background, and as it comes toward the foreground, our character, Kibali, grabs it. While flying, the salt's controller is bound to the root of the rig, and on the next frame, it's bound to the hand controller. What I would like to do is to switch parent and bind the salt to the hand on the previous frame, so that I get a clean transition. But right now, it's not the case. Moving the hand won't move the sword. If I check out my read properties, I can see that I can switch the parent of the sword, so it's a very classic mechanism. I'm really happy I built it. But whenever I switch the parent of the sword controller to be the left hand, the sword teleports somewhere else. I like to be able to switch parent, keeping the current visual transform of the sword controller. And here is the tool that will save you hours of animation. By the way, if you'd like to learn how I created all those custom rigs from scratch, and even more about rigging, check out my latest course on p2designacademy.com, The Art of Effective Rigging, 2nd Edition. To solve our problem, there is an existing add-on that is shipped with Blender by default. Go to Edit, Preferences, and open the add-on tabs. In the search bar, search for Copy. You should see, under animation, the Copy Global Transform add-on popping out. Let's activate the add-on and go back to our animation. A new tab is now available in the end panel. It's the Animation tab, and we can find our add-on here. If I get back to my rig, and I switch the parent of the sword, as before, the sword disappears. So what I can do before, is to select my sword controller, go to the add-on, and click on Copy. We just stored the global transformation of our sword. Through my rig properties, I can now switch the parent, the sword will disappear again, out of the screen, but with it still selected, I can go back to the add-on and click on the Paste button. And I just paste the global transform to the sword while its parent has changed. The sword has exactly the same visual transform as before, but I can now animate it using the hand of my character, allowing me to transition between two different bindings. And this is a huge time saver, and the add-on can do much more. Let's say I attach the weapon to the left arm of my character and I'm happy with the pose. But now the director says, yeah, but he's a right-handed character, so he should manipulate the sword with the other hand. So I will switch parents, but the sword is still in the left hand, I now need to move it by hand to the other side. Or I can go to the add-on, copy the current global transform of our sword, and then in the mirror option, I can choose my character rig and the root as a pivot point and click mirror. The global transform of the sword will be mirrored based on the root position of the character. And as a symmetry reference, you can use any bone or any object in your scene. Now, let's say you want to copy the position or global transform of your bone or object on multiple keyframes. That can be useful for an inverse kinematics controller, for example, a hand on a table or an elbow, a knee contacting something. 
First, I copy the current global transform, but then I can't use paste to selected keys because we need to enable the auto king. As I enable it, the option is now available. From there, I can select the keyframe of the current controller on which I want to paste the current pose. And as I do so, you can see that my controller gets mirrored. The function works, but whenever you have a mirror object selected, it will automatically paste as mirrored. If I cancel it and paste to selected keys again, you can see that all the keys I have selected use the same pose and it's no longer mirrored. Not that I'm using the term pose, but it's the global transform of the controller. If it was an object, we couldn't talk about the pose because the pose is bound to rigging in Blender. But in both cases, we are copying the global transform of the active item. Now here is the last example. If you use motion capture, I don't, but I've seen this problem a lot, where the data used on another rig might not match perfectly and you have a lot of noise on contacts. I can set up the pose of my foot, copy it, and then I can click paste and bake the current global transform. The foot will be pinned on the ground whatever happens to the rest of my character. I believe this is a great feature to clean up animation data. Did you know that you don't need to change tab all the time to access the tool? You can right click on a panel and pin it. It will be then accessible whatever tab you're in. Thanks again Sebrin for the tip. The main limit with this add-on is that you can deal only with the active bone or object. And sometimes you may want to copy multiple bones, global transform at once. It's super useful if you want to copy a pose, for example, but you have root motion. Or again, if you have a parent switch, for example, hand parented to the torso and then to the world space. Here, for example, I posed Kibbly, but let's say for whatever reason, I want to move the root of my character, but I want to keep the pose in place. You may want that if you want to change the orientation of the whole rig, or if you want to change the starting point of a sequence. The first thing I need to do is to select the controllers I want to copy the global transform from. Then I can click copy world. I can move the root bone wherever I want it. You may also want to move the root bone or you may want to parent it to the camera or to an asset like a vehicle or something like that. But maybe you want your character to start from the previous position. Now I just need to reselect my controllers but the root bone and press paste world. And here I get exactly the same pose of the character. The controllers have the same position or same transform in world space, but the root has moved. So basically they don't have the same pose, but visually it's the same. And you can't imagine how many times you will need to do this kind of thing whenever you are animating a shot. I'm not necessarily talking about the root motion, but at least copying and pasting a pose in space. The last feature I want to show is the copy relative option. I have selected the same controller and made the torso controller active and I click copy relative. This will store the transform of the different controllers using the torso controller space. If I now change the controller position and I reselect my controllers and I then choose paste relative, my controller's pose is updated following the rotation or the transformation of the torso controller. This way you can replicate a whole pose but with a different orientation, for example, whatever the relationship your controllers have between them. I'm sure there are many times where you struggled posing your character because you were changing mechanism. Hopefully these add-ons can help. This is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you very very soon.